Hi guys, I got a really great question from a viewer who wants to know, can you be an atheist and a animist at the same time? If you're curious about that, stay tuned. Hi, it's Laura Giles with Pan Society. Thanks for joining me. So I got a viewer question. He wants to know, can you be an atheist and an animist at the same time? And the answer to that is, of course. So here at Pan Society, we don't care if you're atheist, agnostic, monotheist, polytheist, pantheist, whatever, poly, what did I call polytheist, polytheist? And believe in God, don't believe in God questioning. We don't care. So how can that be? Well, think about it from a scientific point of view. So we know that everything vibrates. Physics tells us that. That's energy. And we also know from the observer effect that everything is impacted by our thoughts. So therefore, everything is conscious. So really, that's the basis of it. You know, if you believe in that, if you believe in science, if you believe in physics, then you can call yourself an animist by definition. Now, um, the viewer kind of said, well, hey, I don't get that. Where does the supernatural piece come in? If, how can you believe in the supernatural and still be an atheist? So here's the huge, huge difference, I think, between animist and those from nature-based religions and the um, people of the book. So animists don't believe that God is separate from us. Whereas people of the book do believe that God is a separate thing, entity, spirit, whatever you want to call it. And so if everything is sacred and everything is God, then it's kind of a, it's, I guess it's a bit of a splitting hair thing. So we call it sacred. This one might not call it sacred. This might call it nature. It's all the same thing to us. So I guess if, if you want to say, hey, am I an animist? If somebody's claiming to be an animist, then I would say, yeah, they're an animist. And they can define it however they like to define it. Now, for me, uh, the thing that really makes animism animism is not really whether you say you have a God or you don't have a God or you believe this or you don't believe that. It's really more about how you live. Animism is a lifestyle. It's about living in connection with all of these things. So the Lakota have a beautiful way of uh, encapsulating this in language and they say mitakuye oyasin which means to all my relations they say this when they're praying they say this as a greeting um, and it's addressing all of the realms the human plant animal and mineral realm and acknowledging that relationship and that's really what it's all about and sometimes things get lost in translation when we're talking to other people who are not animist because they don't understand this relational piece and this is why you hear me say, if you're new to animism, be a student. Because there's a whole lot of stuff that gets lost in translation. That if you go out there and you spend a weekend in a workshop studying this thing that I don't call shamanism, which is based in animism, and you don't have an understanding of animism, and then you go out there and teach it and you use it to uh, heal people, heal yourself, then you're doing us. A huge disservice and I don't think it is too strong to say that it is the second wave of mainstream uh, colonizing you're taking these indigenous beliefs and colonizing them again for commercial gain and I'm gonna ask you don't do that if you've got to do that please call it something else make up a name but don't call it animism please yeah, so we don't want anything lost in translation. We want to maintain the integrity of this thing. Love the questions. I think it creates clarity, depth, and understanding. I think it helps to create connection. And I think it helps to deepen all of our practice. I don't know everything. I learn from your questions. I learn from your input. So I love the questions. Let's have a dialogue. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And sometimes I don't quite get it, uh, you know, because a lot of times we are coming from a different worldview and I need that extra prompting. So the person who gave me the uh, feedback about what about the supernatural stuff really helped to clarify 
your point of view and this is how we can start to understand each other so if this has been helpful for you if anything else on the channel has been helpful for you please hit that subscribe button it does help us out a lot and i hope to see you on the next pan video ciao